everyone welcome to the class of power up again this video is in the continuation of the last video of our approvals connector okay so in the last video i have shown you the different type how we can use the power or the power approvals in our power automate and the different types of the approvals and the functionality and where we can track our all the approvals either from the power automate platform from here yeah uh, it's here in the power output platform in the action items you get the approvals tab okay from here and also from one of our table that is present in the same environment having the name of approvals okay so these two places from where we can track all the approvals that has been sent from our side to some user and to any user even okay so in this video we'll see how we can cancel that approval that we have sent to the users okay so just I'm just taking to my outlook and here you can see in my bucket I'm having two approvals emails okay one is this one the at 317 okay yeah, here you can see this is still in the pending and one is this one it takes a little time to respond because it might be because of my network issue or something I really apologize for this okay so let's cancel this one the last okay so one way you can is to cancel the approval mail is you just go to the power automate and inside the action items you will get approval and from the here from the send tab you can see these two mails I have sent to myself if I would like to cancel any one so I can cancel from here from the more command and cancel okay i'm cancelling it and confirm the cancel and now this approval would get cancelled and if i go back to my outlook and i can see that particular email would be get cancelled okay so just a second yes okay so I think it needs little time to reflect yeah it generally takes little time to reflect because the approval has sent to some users okay so let's wait for for a while still it is there one more refresh and see whether it is got cancelled or not i have cancelled it from here right so yes now you can see only one is there it means one has cancelled from the list of the my approval so it should also be cancelled in the mail it is because of some network issues okay okay fine Meanwhile, to that, I just use one and uh, one another approach. Okay, how we can cancel our approvals. So this is yeah. Here you can see this approval for which the request was issued has been cancelled because I have cancelled this approval from here. Okay, so now you can see I have one more request in my approvals. So which is that one, the lower one. And for that I use the different approach because let's say you are uh, in doing any type of testing and you send accidentally 100 to 200 employees this approval type of mail so at the time it would not be easy to cancel all the approval one by taking one one by one okay so at a time we need any type of system jobs to cancel all the approvals that are present in our system okay so in the last video video I have also shown you that where the approvals data get stored so it's stored in one of our table that is approval so i have created one flow for this that can cancel all the approvals or depending on my uh, conditions that i used okay so i have already created a flow i just open in the edit mode so that i can explain what, what are the steps i have used to create this type of setup so it's just a manual trigger current time list rows i'm just listing rows that are present okay 
so listing some rows that are in the approvals table okay and i have used one xml query because i just need to filter the output all of rows that has the date of created on by fifth let's say in the in the fetch xml i need to just change this portion as this one i can change it to five okay now it will filter only those records those approvals that are created today okay so i can also show you from where you can uh, do that like uh, this fetch xml query is used to filter you can also doing the filtering uh, queries in the filter rows as well i use the fetch xml query and that fetch xml query you can build that easily from the advanced find option okay just use the query from these things and download the fetch xml file and from there just open that fetch downloaded file to your any or word or and notepad and from the air just copy paste the content and paste it to your power automated flow in this fetch xml query so that's how you can also uh, use fetch xml query in order to filter the data okay so after that filtering i used one more connector that is update a row because as the list I, I rows will give the table type of input so i need to use apply to each function and update a row in the inside the update a row i need to get the row id so i use the approvals identifier okay so that's how and inside this i use the stage as complete i set the stage as complete status season as cancelled okay so because i just want that, uh, approval to be cancelled to whom it has been sent okay and in the complete row i just use the current time send the email notification because i want that to be notified in the email as well so that's why i selected to be yes you can select it to no as well but i have selected yes and the status i have after uh, making it completed or cancelled i'm just making the status as inactive okay so this is the type of the flow i have used because the reason of this flow is in order to cancel multiple approvals that has been sent to the users okay so right now you can see i have only one item uh, it should be one only why it is showing two okay so because i've used only the filtering condition as fifth means today i have sent two approvals and you can check on the last because we have cancelled one from here and one in this in the list it means i have two so i just need to add one more filtering query let's say the status reason and the it should be uh pending okay because whenever the approval will be sent to any user at a time the state this reason would be pending so i'm just pending and see the result it will give me only one okay so now i'll trigger that flow okay so just save it and it's saving uh you can also check in my mail that i have one email okay one email from where i need to submit my response and, and i'm just canceling this event this day approval okay so just test it manual trigger test and run from done okay so now my flow runs successfully without any problem so it means that approval has got cancelled now so if i go to my advanced setting and if i again go back and refresh and see the result i can see no result color it means that approval but also cancelled and that needs to be reflected in the mail as well so as it take little time to respond so let me just refresh it once okay so let's see whether it, so it is still in the pending so now here you can see this approval has been called so it cancelled okay so there are two possible ways to cancel the approvals that has been sent by you okay so either to uh, cancel from the from the power automate approval tab but from here you can cancel one one and from the power automate you can cancel all the approvals depending on the fun depending on the filtering queries you used okay so 
that is all about the approvals connector so thanks for watching this video everyone